Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential slash logarithmic system. We have 3 to the power log y equals x and x times y equals 30. And we're going to be solving for x and y values. I'll be presenting three methods and let's start with the first one. So in order to solve this system, first of all, let me go ahead and copy that. 3 to the power log y equals x, and xy is equal to 30. For our first method, we're going to use substitution. Let's go ahead and set log y equal to something. How about b? If you set log y equals b, then from here, you're going to get... 3 to the power b equals x. But not only that, you're also going to get something else. By using the definition of logs, since the base is 10 here, you're also going to be getting 10 to the power b equals y. Now, this is important. Why? Because, because we got y and x as an exponential. So but we got rid of the logs, and now the second equation gives us the product. So we can actually go ahead and use it. Put these two together, xy equals 30, I have that here too, didn't realize, xy equals 30, but xy is 3 to the power b times 10 to the power b, and that is equal to 30. But how do you multiply these two exponentials? They have the same exponent, different bases, so we can just multiply the bases, right? This becomes 30 to the power b because 3 times 10 equals 30, you knew that, right? Equals 30. Yay, we know this, right? Any number to the first power is the same number. Therefore, from here we get a single result, b equals 1. All right? Cool, cool. But b equals 1, b is not what we're looking for. b is just kind of like a dummy variable. x is 3 to the power b, so it's going to be 3 then. And y is 10 to the b. How do you find y? Just like substitution. 10 to the power b, and since b is 1, y is 10. You could also find the y from the second equation because x, y is 30, their product is 30. If you know one of the numbers whose product is 30, then you know the other number. So we got 3, 10, right? For x, y. That's the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So for my second method, and let me rewrite the problem, 3 to the power log y equals x, and xy equals 30. So for my second method, I'm just going to do the following. I'll take the first equation and just log both sides. So let's go ahead and log both sides of the first equation. Log 3 to the power log y equals log x. By the way, log means base 10 here, so needless to say, hopefully, when the base is not written, it's usually base 10. Now, properties of logs allow us to bring this down. If you do bring it down, we're going to get log y times log 3 equals log x. Great. Now, this gives us something nice, but let's leave it at that for now. Let's go ahead and focus on the second equation. We're also going to be logging both sides here. So if we log xy, we're going to get log 30 because xy is 30. And as you know, log xy is the log of a product, so we can go ahead and write it as the sum of two logs, log x plus log y, and that is equal to log 30. Now we've got another system. Now we can go ahead and actually use this equation here. So we can basically replace log x with this, right? So replace log x with log y times log 3. From here, we get plus log y equals log 30. And how do you think we're going to solve for y or log y? We're going to factor it log y times log 3 plus 1 equals log 30. Awesome. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by log 3 plus 1. Let's go ahead and do it here. Log y equals log 30 divided by log 3 plus 1. Is that the answer? Well, you can do 10 to the power of both sides. But before that, let's go ahead and simplify the right-hand side because it's going to be more meaningful if we do that. How? Here's what we can do. 
We can go ahead and write the log 3 as log 3 plus 1 is log 3 plus log 10, right? So this becomes log 3 divided by log 3 plus log 10. And notice that I do have the sum of two logs, which can turn into the log of a product. 3 times 10 is 30, so this is also log 30. But guess what? They're the same, so it's 1. So log y is equal to 1, which implies y is equal to 10. If y is equal to 10, then x is equal to 3, because x times y equals 30. Remember that? So we get the same solution from here, 3, 10, using the second method. Second method is logging both sides of both equations and then going from there, so solving it as a system. By the way, you didn't really have to go into any of these if you realize something here that log 3 plus 1 is log 30. This is actually log 30, so log y must be 1. Anyways, there's a couple different ways to look at it. However you look at it, you're going to get the same answer. Anyways, so let's go ahead and take a look at the third method, and we'll finish with that. Okay? All right, cool, cool. Now, and I believe I'm going to show you a graph at the end. Yes, I did make a graph. I just realized, and I'll show you, sh share with you the graph as well after the third method. Okay, third method is the following. Again, we have 3 to the power log y equals x, and xy equals 30. So this is a system. And to be able to solve the system, I'm going to use a slightly different approach. And it's actually really nice, uh, you know, because it's kind of different from um, both of these methods, in my opinion. Anyways, so from the second equation, I'm going to isolate y. And you might be questioning, why are we doing this? Because I want to do it. I feel like doing it, and I actually tried it, and it worked. That's why. Okay, so y is equal to 30 over x. Now, guess what I can do with this? I can go ahead and substitute this here, right? Because I have another equation that contains y. So now we have 3 to the power log y, but replace y with 30 over x, like this, put uh, parentheses, and that equals x. Do you like this equation? Maybe you don't, but that's okay. We'll f simplify in a little bit, so bear with me. I'm going to write this as, well, first of all, I have the log of a quotient, so I can basically write it as a difference of two logs, right? Properties of logs again. We haven't logged both sides. We just substituted, right? That's what we did. Okay, now, how do I simplify this? Something that I can do, basically, is, you know, I can just go ahead and write this as a quotient. So 3 to the power log 30 divided by 3 to the power log x, because that's when you subtract the exponents, right? So kind of turn that into a quotient, and then multiply both sides by 3 to the power log x. So kind of like cross multiply. I'm going to write it as x times 3 to the power log x, and here's the most critical and the most beautiful part in my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and break down the log 30, like just like before. Remember 30 is 3 times 10, so we can kind of write it as 3 to the power log 3 times 10, which is log 3 plus log 10. And as you know, log 10 is 1, so this is 1. And from here we get 3 to the power log 3 plus 1, which is 3 to the power log 3 times 3. Now, here's what we got. These two sides are equal. So I can write it as 3 times 3 to the power log 3 equals, uh, I'll probably write the x first. Let me write the x first. So I'm going to write this side first x times 3 to the power log x equals 3 times 3 to the power log 3. What do you think this means? Look at it. x must be 3, right? Is that the only solution? That's a good question. Okay, that's for you to check. But x equals 3 definitely works. x equals 3. And since xy is 30, y equals 10 from here. And wow, don't you like this method? Please let me know. This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.